Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Presenting to you this beautiful 2021 BMW 218i Grand Coupe. And in this video, I'll show you the complete exterior. So let's take you around the interior. So I'll show you all around this beautiful BMW 218i. So without further ado, let's begin the video. So let us start off with the exterior walk around of this beautiful 2021 BMW 218i Grand Coupe. So as you can see, this is the front look of the car. Overall, it looks very aggressive from this angle. It's one of the best angles to admire the BMW 218i Grand Coupe. It's very sporty from this angle and I personally love the grey paintwork on this particular model. So now let's take a look at the front. So as you can see, this is the front end of the BMW 218i Grand Coupe. Overall, it looks very aggressive as you can see at the front. So you get your traditional BMW kidney grill as you can see right there and you get your BMW badge proudly presented in the center it's very aggressive you get this gloss black splitter that runs from the left to the right as you can see and as for headlights as you can see the 2 i Grand Coupe does come with BMW full LED headlamps as you can see so you get full LED headlamps for the 2 i Grand Coupe Headlamps do have a very nice detail as well if you go up close, as you can see they look very nice. So you get LED headlamps, LED indicators as you can see, you get LED daytime running lights as well, LED cornering lights, as well as LED front fog lights down here. And the fog lights are in this gloss black surrounds, as you can see they are hidden within this gloss black surrounds right here. And overall they look very nice to admire get the BMW LED lettering within and they do have a very nice detail as you can see if you go up close as you can see look very nice so that's the front end as you can see yeah very nice nicely designed car as you can see really love the look of it from this angle so now moving on to the side it's another side view also looks very nice from this angle you get front parking sensors as you can see and you may notice this radar down here that's because the BMW 218i Grand Coupe does come with the fully autonomous safety features a like blind spot assist, lane keep assist, traffic sign recognition and all that so this car comes with the full safety suite which is very good so now taking a look at the side so this is the side profile of it as you can see, it just looks very nice from this angle. Love the look of it. And especially love the bonnet lines as you can see right here. We love the way the bonnet looks. Kind of has a clamshell bonnet as you can see. Lines are right there. Overall, very nice. And those are your headlamps once again. You have a very nice detail. You go up close. So this is the side end, overall a very nice car. So this BMW 218i Grand Coupe in Malaysia does come with the M Sport trim as standard. So I mentioned the M Sport um, parts as we go through the walk around. So there are a few unique M parts exclusive to the M Sport trim. So as for tyres, the BMW 218i Grand Coupe does come with Bridgestone Turenza run flat tires as you can see and the dimensions are right here 225 40 R80 these are your 18 inch rims as you can see so these are the M Sport specific rims as you can see for the M Sport trim you get the M badge right there and the BMW center cap and also the rims do have a very nice design as well as you can see they look rather nice they have this brush chrome finishing and this uh, matte finishing right here. Here overall the rims do look amazing as you can see. Love the look of it. You get M badging on the sides right here for the M Sport trim. Very nice detail. This is how it looks like from the side. Very nicely done. And up here, get your camera right there for your 
BMW connected drive safety systems as you can see and you get your camera right there and your sensor for your automatic wipers so on the side mirrors the top part is finished in body colored and the bottom part is finished in gloss black as you can see all the side mirrors do have a very nice design they have these three lines going across right here it's the unique detail and yeah they look very nice to look at it's a very nice design this part also is finished in gloss black and the 2.8i Grand Coupe does come with blind spot assist so as you can see the warning triangle right here for your blind spot assist overall a very good safety system turn especially when you want to change lanes comes really helpful and yeah the side mirrors do look very nice in this angle so the 2.8i Grand Coupe does come with frameless doors and yes this car does come with frameless doors which is very good you get body colored door handles and you get keyless entry as well right there for all four doors it's a very good touch so this part is finished in gloss black as you can see looks very sporty up here as well it's all in gloss black as you see so let's take a look at the interior just a sneak peek and you get frameless doors they dip down as you open the doors as you can see This is the door panels and that's the interior. Yeah, overall the interior looks amazing. As you can see, it kind of gives the 3 series vibes. We'll cover the interior later. Let's take a look at the outside. So let me give you a side look of the BMW 220i Grand Coupe. So as you can see, this is the side look of it. Overall, it looks very nice from the side. Very nice to admire it from here as well. And yeah, it looks very elegant too. So the rear doors are frameless as well. They dip down a little bit too. As you can see. Very nicely done. Those are the rear seats. Cover them later. So this is the rear end of the BMW 220i Grand Coupe. Overall, it looks very aggressive and very sporty from this angle, especially in this very nice grey paint work. Makes it stand out much more. You also get these lines right here, as you can see. It's very nice lines. You get your side diffuser in matte black, as you can see. And then your rear tires right here with the M-Sport badge again okay, so now taking a look at the rear end so this is how it looks from the rear oh it's a very nicely done car very nice design it has it has a very nice design as you can see you get this side air vents as well right here but they are not functional sadly but they do look very nice one on each side as you can see for the left and right so as for tail lights, the BMW 2.1AI Grand Coupe does come with full LED tail lamps as well. So you get LED tail lamps, LED indicators, and you get LED reversing lights as well. The tail lamps do have a nice detail as well if you go up close. They look very nice. As you can see it says BMW right there within the tail lights. And you get your rear exhaust pipe right there. So rear exhaust pipe get rear parking sensors as well and you get this rather aggressive rear diffuser as you can see looking good so your 218i badge right here as you can see you get your BMW badge proudly presented in the center and you get this gloss black line this gloss black trim that runs from the left to the right very sporty and if you add on the M Sport exterior package you also get the rear spoiler, the carbon fiber exhaust trim, the carbon fiber diffuser, as well as some carbon fiber parts for the front. So that is if you add on the M Sport exterior pack, that's optional, it's not as standard. So 
So this is the side view of it. Overall, it's a very nice car, good car for ladies. And it looks very stylish as well. You get your shark fin antenna up there. This car was purchased from Quill Automobiles in PJ. So shout out to them. So yeah, overall it has a very nice rear end. You get your fuel door right here. So you get your gloss black highlights right here. As I mentioned just now. Makes it look very sporty. So that's the interior from the driver's side. Yeah, the interior looks very aggressive, looks very amazing as well, as you can see. Let me just open it up. And as you can see, this is how it looks like with the windows rolled down. So this car has frameless doors, so therefore, you have that very nice and sleek profile for the doors. Because you love it. And you get uh, the very unique ambient lighting strip right here. I've only seen this in the 20i Grand Coupe. Very unique as well, as you can see. That's the interior right there. So as mentioned just now, this car does come with the M-Sport package. So that adds on the M leather wrap steering wheel, as you can see. The M-Sport steering wheel. The M dorsals, M floor mats. As well as this subtle M logo on the sport seats. You get blue contrast stitching as well on the seats. And yeah, overall the interior looks very aggressive from this angle. Really love the look of it. Looks especially sporty as well. Overall very nice. Especially from this angle. So now let's we'll cover the interior later and we get into the interior tour. That's your blind spot indicator once again. So now getting back to the front. So yeah, I guess that's it for the exterior walk around. We can continue with the rest of the car. So now let's take a look at the engine bay of this beautiful 2021 BMW 218i Grand Coupe. So you have to pull the bonnet release lever inside the cabin twice and then the bonnet will be released to this position. You just simply walk towards the bonnet itself and then just open it right up. As you can see, there's the engine bay right there. The engine cover says BMW Twin Power Turbo as you can see. And overall the engine bay is very neat looks tidy and this is how it looks like with the engine bay open overall it looks very aggressive as you can see so the BMW 218i Grand Coupe is powered by 1.5 litre inline 3 twin power turbo engine producing about 138 horsepower and 220 newton meters of torque respectively all the power is sent to the front wheels via a 7 speed automatic transmission so this is the engine bay right here overall it looks very nice as you can see Everything is nicely placed and nicely laid out. And I personally love the engine cover that says BMW Twin Power Turbo. And yeah, this is the engine bay. It is helped by these two hydraulic struts, which can be really helpful when opening and closing the engine bay. It's expected in a premium car like this. So now let's close it. We have to give the engine bay a shut, otherwise it wouldn't close properly. So now let us take a look at the interior of this beautiful 2021 BMW 218i Grand Coupe. But before that, here is the key fob of the BMW 218i Grand Coupe. As you can see, the key fob does have the M icon on the sides. This part is finished in gloss black. And you get the setting chrome finishing right here. So you get your unlock, lock and trunk release. So this car does come with, the key fob does come with the, the leather pouch with the M icon as well right here. Very nicely done. 
So you can just slot the key out like this. And the key fob does have a very nice design as, as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unlock it. So as you can see, you get your welcome lights as you unlock the car. So these are your LED daytime running lights. They illuminate as you unlock the car. Overall, the daylights do look very nice. They have a nice detail. So as you may notice, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, the side mirrors fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you'll be able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll the and to roll the windows back up together, just press and hold on the BMW icon. As simple as that. And this is very convenient for hot weather like this in Malaysia. So as mentioned just now, the BMW 200i Grand Coupe does come standard with BMW's Comfort Access, which is basically BMW's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, you just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked at the moment. So to lock the car, just press this ripped area on any of the four door handles to lock it. The mirrors will fold in. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. So as you open the doors, the windows will dip down a little bit to clear the door frame. And that is because the windows in this BMW 200i Grand Coupe are frameless. As you can see, the doors do have a really nice design. That's because they are frameless. So now on the doors, you get a speaker right here. Right here, you have your mirror controls, your window controls. All four windows in this BMW 200i Grand Coupe are fully automatic in both directions. Window lock right here. You have a bottle holder and a storage area right there. Your very nice ambient lighting strip right here. Central locking right here, as you can see. Very nice chrome door handle. Which is very nice. And if you and if you opt for the Harman Kardon sound system, you get an extra speaker right there. So that's your side mirror, the blind spot assist icon. So yeah, overall the door panels do look very nice. This part up here is finished in as you can see, soft touch plastics. I really love this part of the ambient lighting strip. It's finished in this sort of like aluminium texture finishing. Very nice. This part is finished in smooth leather with uh, blue contrast stitching, as you can see. This part is finished in plush leather with blue contrast stitching once again. But this part is finished in your high quality hard plastics. But they are still acceptable for me, considering the price point of this car. You do get uh, LED puddle lights down there. Very nice night. But yeah, overall the door panels do look very nice, I have no complaints. So you get your aircon vent up there. This part is finished in the same aluminium finishing with the nice texture. As you can see the brushed aluminium finish. This nice texture. Similar to the one on the ambient lighting strip right here. So right here you have your headlight controls. You have your auto button. This button turns on the headlights. Your small lights. Your parking lights. Button to off them. And it comes with front and rear fog lights as well. Interior brightness adjustment lever is right here. Down here. Get a rather deep storage area right there. Very nice M Sport pedals as well. I, re I personally love the Sport pedals. They do have a nice detail. Bonnet release lever right there. You actually get M floor mats as you can see with the M logo right there. You get M door sills for the M Sport trim. 
And these are your M Sport seats, as you can see. So the driver's seat in this BMW 200i Grand Coupe. Let's get full power adjustments. With all the controls down there, as you can see, this one controls your seat position, seat height, seat inclination, your seat back. And you need to the 200 air ground coupe, you get the side bolster adjustment right here for the driver's side. So you basically adjust the side bolster support and you get 2% memory setting as well. Very nice touch. The only form of manual adjustment comes in the form of the tie support adjusted using this lever right here. So these are the M Sport um, Sport seats. So you get your M icon right here as you can see. Very nice detail. I personally love the M detail right there. So the seats in this 200i Grand Coupe are finished in the black Dakota leather. So this is the Dakota leather upholstery. Similar to the one you get in the 3 series. But the only thing is, this one comes with blue contrast stitching as you can see. For the seats. So you get blue contrast stitching going around. On the headrest as well. And the headrests are adjustable. But they are manual. So that's the interior right there. So top here is finished in rather soft touch plastics as you can see. These are soft touch plastics. Very nice. And further down is also soft touch plastics. Very nicely done actually. Considering the price point, the build quality is very good. Top notch. So that's the interior right there. So now let's step inside and start the car. So as you can see, this is the driver's view of the interior. Overall, the interior looks very nice from this angle. That's your M Sport steering wheel, your center screen. As you can see, everything wakes up when you unlock the car. So let's go ahead and start her up. So to start the BMW 200i Grand Coupe, just simply have the key fob within the interior. And simply put your foot on the brake. And then just hit the engine start stop button located in the center console. Very nice startup. So now let's go ahead and close the door. The door do have the door does have a very nice opening and closing feel. Feels very solid. And let us explore the interior of the BMW 28i Grand Coupe. So now let's start off with the interior tour. So let's start with the steering wheel. So the steering wheel in the BMW 200i Grand Coupe is wrapped in very nice and thick leather as you can see. This is part of the M Sport package. So you get a M leather wrapped steering wheel with very thick sport grips at 10 and 2. It also gets a black contrast stitching going around the inner rim. This part is finished in setting chrome even down here as well and you get the M badging on the bottom spoke so yeah overall the steering wheel does feel very nice to hold gives you a very nice grip and the leather is very nice as well as you can see very nice this part is also stitched in black normally cars at this price point will be finished in rather hard plastics but this part is finished in Rather nice and smooth leather. Get a BMW badge in the center. So on the left spoke, you have your cruise control and speed limiter controls. You can program your cruise control with these cell controls right here. So this part is finished in gloss black. On the right spoke, you have your volume controls, 
seek track use this wheel to go through your different lists of stations for the fm am menu let's say if you are in your bluetooth menu you can go through your your tracks and all that and then right here you have your bluetooth telephone control your settings and your voice control on the right stock you have your wiper controls the 200i grand coupe does come with automatic wipers as you can see and on the left stock you have your indicator controls there's a triple turn signal as well this car doesn't come with adaptive high beam sadly so you just got to activate manually as you can see and I personally love the indicator tone as well so locate this uh, BC button at the end of the indicator stock to go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. So you can press on it. Currently, it's showing you your mileage and your trip. You can go through your average fuel consumption indicator, your range, your trip and your average speed, sorry, average fuel consumption and your range down there your digital speedometer and your range, your compass and range, your Bluetooth music playing or your FM AM menu right here. Turn the display off and back to your mileage and your trip and range. So overall, the meter cluster themselves does look very nice. This is actually not digital. It's actually analog, so don't be fooled by the meter cluster. But overall, it has a very nice design. So as you can see, you get your uh, traffic sign recognition icon right here. So this car does come with traffic sign recognition. Basically, let's say when you drive on your normal roads, the car can actually recognize the speed limit of the current road and you'll ensure that you don't exceed the speed limit. But if you exceed the speed limit, it will warn an uh, icon right here or it will sound a chime to form you to slow down. So you get your speedometer to the left your ref counter to the right and you get your fuel gauge and your engine temperature to the right so your time your current mode your gear and your weather remains put right there so you get your chrome finishing as well right here and yeah overall the meter cluster does look very nice this is the interior it's so now moving on here Get your central locking. Very unusual placement for the central locking button. Normally in BMW fashion, it always be in the center. But surprisingly for the 2.1i Grand Coupe, they chose it to be here. But it's inconvenient because let's say you are the passenger, you have to reach all the way to this side to lock and unlock. Can be a bit difficult. But there you go. So as mentioned just now, this car does come with power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, just press this button. You get LED puddle lights as well right there. They do operate very quietly. So that's your interior brightness adjustment lever. And this is the interior. Overall, it looks very nice. So now let us move on to the center. So as you can see up here, it's finished in rather hard quality plastics. This part is finished in soft touch plastics, black stitching. So let's move on to the infotainment system. The 2.1i Grand Coupe does come with a 8.8 inch touchscreen head unit as you can see. With Bluetooth connection, it comes supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. So let's give it a sound test. And I must say, the sound system does sound really good. I can't obviously give you the full song because of copyright reasons. So you get a volume control right here. It's very nice aluminium finishing right here, as you can see. You get your different mode selection button, your band button. And you get your 8 customizable buttons right here. 
you can program these eight buttons to sort let's say your favorite um menu let's say you want to go to car menu so you can press let's say button one at one touch and it'll take you to the car menu straight or you can program button two for navigation button three let's say for your sport display and all that so you can program these buttons for various functions and they are touch sensitive so as i run my finger across as you can see they respond to it very nice detail all bmws have this really love it and you get your seat track button right here so that's the infotainment system right there the infotainment system is a touch screen so you can control it via your fingers as you can see it's very responsive as well so this is your touch screen function your second alternative is via your rotary dial your rotary dial in the center you have this knob that goes up down left right scrolls to the left scrolls to the right and clicks down for enter so this is your iDrive controller right here also in the same aluminium finishing actually this is made out of metal as you can see you can hear the sound it's made out of pure metal very nice so you get your shortcut buttons your back option your media communication home your connected drive menu map and navigation so you get your shortcut buttons right there so this is the infotainment system right here as you can see so currently this is your home display with your map this is your navigation your map your fmem menu communication then you have your vehicle since individual traffic information compass as well as your day and date and you can program these widgets as well so let's start off with the media menu you can control it via the rotary dial as well as you can see let's start off with media so you have your radio menu right here with your list of stations as you can see all your list of stations right here you can save a particular station manual search as well as your sound settings and then you can swipe like this then you have your bluetooth audio menu you can pair up your phone via the bluetooth function your mobile devices and you can personalize the menu as well so if you want to go back you can hit the home like so or you can use the rotary dial and swipe it to the left as you can see and take you back to the home display so that's media you have your communication menu where you can pair your phone, you can access your contacts, telephone, mobile devices, BMW assistance, BMW messages. You can personalize the menu as well. Then you have your third one, which is navigation. So you can bring up your navigation right here. You can search points of interest, my destinations, input an address. Then this is your map. As you can see, this is the map. Very responsive to your fingertips. As you can see bring up the whole planet earth as you can see and back to current location it will take you back to your current location so you can hit here you can go through your traffic information petrol stations your maps settings and your split screen so you also have the split screen option so let's say you go here and you go through your split screen so you can bring up let's say your split screen option so let's say in your split screen you can let's say on the right you can have your settings menu your road preview kibla position traffic so that's your split screen option so as you can see so if i disable that this display will go off and you can display it in full as you can see so that's your map very responsive so you have your car menu next up okay, sorry this is apps so let's see you can go through your installed apps your as mentioned apple car play android auto under car which brings all your various vehicle settings so under driving information you can adjust your journey data you bring up a complicated diagram of your journey data spot displays so you can see this is your spot display a bit different to the ones that i'm familiar with so hit car so it's better to use the rotary dial i prefer the rotary dial because it's a nice feeling nice sensation driving style analysis your energy flow diagram 
So next up is your vehicle status. Let's say all your warnings and all that. Next, bring up your settings menu. Where in settings, you can adjust your general settings. Which is your date and time, language, voice control, units, sound settings. Where you can adjust your base speed travel, balance fader, volume settings. Touchpad settings, pop-ups, getting started, speed warning, attentiveness assistant, valet parking mode, and reset them back to factory settings. Data privacy, wireless charging tray, which is right here, and all that. So to get back, press this. Next up, you have your driving mode menu. You can configure your driving modes. Under exterior lighting, you can go through your one touch indicator, your daytime driving lights, right left hand traffic, welcome and goodbye, door handle lights, home lights, and that's all. Go back, you have your driver assistance menu, where you have your safety warnings, front collision warning, your lane departure warning, steering intervention, and lane change warning. Overall, the graphics do look very nice as you can see. Very nice graphics. Speed assistant which is basically your speed limits for your traffic sign recognition as you can see warning when speeding your adjust speed limits second adjustment adjust speed limits and adjust manually parking and maneuvering automatic PDC activation active PDC emergency interval park assist cross traffic warning and your volume feedback via steering wheel as well your displays Adjust your instrument cluster display, navigation, speed assistant, and your widgets. So these are speed assistants. You control display as well. Next up, you have your door and vehicle access. You can adjust your tailgate, your hands-free operation, digital key. This card comes with the key card as well. So therefore, you get that. Comfort access, you can unlock it by approaching the car and lock by leaving the car as well. Key button assignments, you can lock it in a few minutes as well. Lock after pulling away, unlock. Switch off the door opening, flash for unlock and fold mirrors when locked. So now we are at your interior lighting menu. You can click it and then your ambient lighting. You can adjust the colors. So this car does come with uh, six colors to choose from. So you have option one, that is bronze. Then you have orange. Then you have white. Then you have blue. You have green. As well as lilac, as you can see. Very nicely done. So let me show you up close. As you can see, it looks very nice at night. So we have bronze, orange, white. White also is nice. Then you have blue, my personal favorite. Green, as well as lilac. But personally, I prefer blue. So as you can see, this part illuminates right here as well and then you have here and then this part as well illuminates as you can see very nice so let's go back then you can adjust your climate comfort and you can assign your key fob as well so your climate comfort right there to go back just hit back and yeah that's about it for the infotainment system it is quite a simple here you need to use may be complicated for some users but to me the BMW iDrive is by far one of the best systems out there very good to use and very good to handle as well so yeah I guess that's it for the infotainment system so now moving on to the climate controls so once again that's your screen right there this part is finished in the textured aluminium trim you can see with a very nice texture with the ambient lighting right here as well. Very nicely done. Personally, love it. 
you can see you get your hazard light button right here as you can see this button brings up the safety menu at one touch so you can turn it all on all off individually and configure it as well so right here you have your dual zone automatic climate control system as you can see all the controls are right here and it is quite simple to use so this one adjusts your fan speed so adjust your different modes of button passenger side temperature knob your driver side temperature control and your passenger side temperature control recirculation max air conditioning front and rear defrost automatic mode and if you hit menu air conditioning you can bring up the climate control display at one touch as i showed you just now so you can adjust your air quality your heating and ventilation your synchronized mode sync means if you have it turned on driver side will control the temperature for both sides but if you turn it off each side will have their own individual temperature controls as you can see but i appreciate if, we, if they have the physical button right here maybe easy but i'm assuming this is for seat heating it's not equipped for the malaysian market but yeah overall the climate control layout is quite good it's quite simple to use so i did mention this just now in the infotainment system actually if you slide down you can go through your main menu your destinations calls notifications help displays as well as valet parking mode and turn the screen off you can bring it up like this as well just by flipping it up so i forgot to mention that and this one is finished in very nice aluminium trim as you can see and the aircon vents do have a nice design as well as you can see because you love it these are your controls right here so down here you get your Qi wireless charging tray right there and you get a couple of cup holders with a USB-C charging port and you get a 12 volt socket right here and this car does come with the exclusive M flask as you can see with the M logo right here the M flask is optional with the BMW badge right there very nice so I drive controls I mentioned just now traction control off button parking sensors you can press it you can bring up the display right there so parking sensor diagram park assist this car does come with reversing assistant as well you can bring up the camera picture and your settings you can simply bring it back like so and then you have your automatic start stop feature right here if you have this feature activated the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save the extra bit of petrol that this car is running on but I would personally have it turned off because it kind of destroys the engine in some ways. So you get your car different modes right here. You have Eco Pro, Comfort and Sport. So if you press on it, let me press on Eco Pro. You bring up your Eco Pro diagram with your, your settings right here for standard, individual and you can individual configure it as well. So let's see your Eco Pro limit, your coasting, Eco Pro climate control, Eco Pro light and side and all that. So that's your eco pro menu and it changes the layout of the infotainment eh, sorry the meter cluster as you can see it has that blue highlights so if i go to comfort it brings it up like that and this part changes as well so under comfort you have your standard configuration it is balanced and then sport as you can see you have your standard individual as well as your configuration as well so you can see it changes the layout right there in red that's a very subtle detail but it's worth mentioning and it changes the layout of the screen as well let's see eco pro it'll be in blue as you can see right here so let's say in sport it'll be in red as you can see right there and in comfort also in red as well so let me just set it back to sport so yeah that's the interior looking good at night now moving down here right here you have your auto hold function for the parking brake so let's say if you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam car is in drive you lift your foot off the brake with the auto hold function activated the car won't actually roll forward or roll back you got your electronic parking brake right here it is currently engaged to disengage it you just put your foot on the brake and push the lever down to engage 
to engage it, simply pull the lever back up. As you can see. So to put the car into reverse, just unlock it, push it forward. And that's your reverse camera display right there. Very clear and I really love the design of the guidelines. It looks very nice. One of the best reverse cameras out there. If you ask me, I really love it. And you get the reverse camera diagram, park assist, reversing assistant, exclusive to the 2 Grand Coupe. Really helpful, especially when you want to reverse. So let's say when you park, when you reverse park into a spot, and then let's say if you want to go out, the car can actually remember how you reversed in. So it's very good feature actually. Camera picture, settings, you can adjust your PDC activation, your parking distance control, park assist, crossing traffic warning. This car comes with rear cross traffic alert. So let's say when there's a car behind and when you're reversing, the car will actually break. It senses a car at the back. Very good. That's your volume for the parking sensors. And yeah, that's about it. So for neutral, back once, and then for drive, unlock, and all the way. And then to park, just press the button right here. As you can see, parking brake is engaged, so you can safely lift your foot off the brake. So the gear lever is finished in gloss black, as you can see. In some BMW models, this part will be finished in crystal. You can opt for the crystal pack. That is very nice. So the gear lever does feel very nice, as you can see. No complaints for it. And your icon is right there. So this car comes with a 7-speed automatic transmission with this gear lever right here. So you shift the gear lever all the way to the back and once to the left, as you can see. Put it to the right, sorry. You can shift manually via the gear lever as well. There are no pedal shifters, sadly. But I would appreciate if there are pedal shifters. Be much sporty. And yeah, overall it's... A very nicely done center console. So now moving down here, get the very nice ambient lighting illumination right there. Here, so right here you get your front center armrest in very nice leather with blue contrast stitching, and it's a lid, which reveals to a deep storage area, together with a. USB-C charging port right there. That's the seats. And this is the interior view at night. Overall, a very nice interior. Especially the door panels. So up top, you get a frameless auto-dimming rear view mirror, which I really adore. As you can see, it's frameless. Very nice design it has. So it's a frameless auto dimming rear view mirror. You get your ambient lighting up here as well in blue. So right here you have your front reading lights in LED. They double up as your interior lights. Your SOS emergency button right here. Sun visor for the driver's side. Just get a vanity mirror. And a nice LED light. So yeah, overall it looks very nice from this angle. I have no complaints for the interior. And personally, it's a very nice, nicely done interior. Alright, so I guess that's all for the interior tour and the startup. You can turn it off right now. And now let us continue with the rest of the tour. Very nice door panels, as you can see, the interior at night looks very nice. And I forgot to mention this, as you can
can see you get your BMW puddle light down there, projected from here. Very nice detail, as you can see, especially at night. And that's how it looks, as you can see. Very nice. And you get your lights right here as well. The doors. Especially nice to admire from the side. Like this. So as you can see, the BMW projector right there looks very nice. So the rear windows do dip down a little bit to clear the door frame, as you can see. It has the same frameless design, as you can see. Looks very nice from this angle. So on the rear doors, you get a speaker right here, window control. This part is finished in leather, leather right here with blue stitching. A very nice ambient lighting strip right here. Very nice door handle, soft touch plastics right there. About the holder and the storage area. That's the inside, you get your lights right there. Also nice on this angle, as you can see. So the driver's seat is set to my driving position. I don't get that much in terms of leg, leg space under the seat, but leg room I only get about this much, and head room about this much. It's a bit cramped for me at the back here. I wouldn't recommend um, adults sitting back here for long distance drives, but for short journeys it should be fine. So you get an ambient lighting strip right here, very nice. You get a, let me just turn on the lights so you can see. So you get a seat storage for both sides. You get rear aircon vents right here with a couple of USB-C charging ports down there. Up here as well. You get a hook, as you can see. For both sides. Up here, you get your your rear reading lights, as you can see. They double up as your interior lights. You get your ambient lighting right here. Your rear center armrest with a couple of cup holders. Operate very nicely. And that's the interior right there. Overall interior looks very nice as you can see. Especially at night. Love the look of the interior. It's amazing. Especially with everything lighted up. Very nicely done. So I wanted to mention the hook right here. As you can see, hope you can see it. Yep, right here. So yeah, that's the door from this angle. And the rear seats do fall as well. Right here, you get your fuel door, as you can see. Fuel door right here. So there are three ways that you could open up the rear hatch for the BMW 200i Grand Coupe. The first way is via the button on the key fork. Just press and hold on it. The tailgate will open right up. The second way is via the touchpad beneath the number plate right here. As you can see. And you have the third way, which is... The third way is via the contactless operation. So you just have the key fob on yourself. Just show your leg right here. And the tailgate will actually open right up. So boot space in the 200i Grand Coupe is quite good. You get a 12 volt socket right here, as you can see. Storage trays on this side. And you can fold the rear seats 
via this lever right here for both sides. You get a nice storage area below this boot floor. So yeah, overall the boot space is quite good. And you get a LED light right there. Yep, so now let's close it. So on the passenger side door, you get a bottle holder, storage, window control, speaker right here. Very nice ambient lighting strip, as you can see. You get M dorsals for the passenger side. And the passenger seats do lose out on the side bolster adjustment and the memory setting. But other than that, the controls are the same. And you get your manual thigh support right there. Same seats in Dakota leather with blue contrast stitching and your... M icon right there. So that's the interior from the passenger side. Let's step inside. I really love this ambient lighting strip right here. Very nice. Right here. You get a nicely sized glove box. Sun visor for the passenger side, just get a vanity mirror and a nice LED light. And yep, this is the interior. Overall interior is amazing at night. So now let's start the car with the door closed. So that's all for today's video on this lovely 2021 BMW 21AI Grand Coupe. Thanks for watching, stay well, stay safe and goodbye.